this video, we will learn what reactants will lead to the formation of acetal and how to easily predict the acetal product. In order for this reaction to happen, we must start with a ketone or an aldehyde. So we must have a C double bond O either in between two carbons or in between a carbon and a hydrogen. And then our C double bond O will react with excess alcohol. My R here is any kind of hydrocarbon chain. So any kind of excess alcohol in the presence of an acid will lead to what we call an acetal product. An acetal product is where the carbon that used to have a double bond O, so this carbon, replaces its double bond O, we no longer see the double bond O, and instead we have two OR groups that came from our excess alcohol. So to easily predict the product of the acetal formation, we look for the carbon that had the double bond O, which is called the carbonyl carbon, we get rid of the double bond O and we attach two OR groups that were here, two alcohol groups, instead of it. And this is our acid cell, a carbon that has two OR groups on it. Now let's go ahead and do this problem to have a better sense of how to predict um, the acid cell product. So here we see that it is. it says, what is the product of the reaction of butanol that acts as methanol and catalytic sulfuric acid? So let's go ahead and draw it out. Butanol has four carbons, and because it ends in Al, it's an aldehyde, so I'm going to put a double bond O at the end with an H, so this is our butanol. And then we have a methanol. Methanol is CH3OH and we have it in access so i'm just going to say xs here access and then we have catalytic sulfuric acid h2so4 catalytic how do we predict the products first of all we have to realize that this reaction leads to the formation of acetal because we start with an aldehyde a double bond o at the end and we have excess alcohol on top. It can be any type of alcohol. In this case, it's methanol. And then we have some sort of acid at the bottom. In this case, it's sulfuric acid. So that's how we know acetal will be forming. And how do we show the acetal? We go ahead and we look at the carbon that has the double bond O. This is our carbonyl carbon. And we will not draw the double bond O anymore. Instead, we will draw two bonds. Each one will be connected to an oxygen and that will be the two alcohols. What is the alcohol in this case? It's CH3O. So we already have O and our alcohol has only one carbon, one methyl group. So we will see CH3 and CH3. So again, the way I did it is I looked at my aldehyde and I looked at the carbonyl carbon, C double bond O. I identified it in the product and instead of double bond O, I put two OR groups, in this case two OCH3 groups that came from this reagent here, from our alcohol. Now let's look at answer choices and see which one is correct. Uh, choice A has a double bond O, but no longer has have a double bond O, that is incorrect. This one has a double bond O also, that's incorrect. Choice C has one OCH3 group, and we know we will put two OCH3 groups where the double bond O used to be, so that is incorrect also. Therefore, choice D, which has four carbons and two OCH3 groups, just like my answer, should be the correct choice for this problem. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you enjoyed my video and I look forward to seeing you in more of my organic chemistry and general chemistry videos.